Hey everyone, it's Hash, and I've been getting a lot of requests on how to play, or actually on how to tune your guitar and then play to Childish Gambino's Red Bone song. Seems like there's a lot of confusion out there on how to tune your guitar to the song. I've seen a lot of lessons where people are trying to teach this in standard tuning, and some people are telling you to tune your guitar to 432 hertz. I think I've seen some that are 435, 437. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clarify all of that for you, demystify this. So by the time you end this video, you can actually play this song to the record and it will sound amazing. Okay, so let's get started. First thing you need to know about this song is the tuning. And that seems to be causing a lot of confusion online for a lot of folks. So let me clarify this. I did the research and I put time into this so you don't have to. So this song, is tuned half a step lower than standard tuning. However, you need to tune your guitar to 430 hertz. Now, if you don't know what that is, usually when you tune your guitar to what we call standard tuning, that's called 440 hertz. And a lot of people don't know that because you don't really need to know that because that's usually the tuning that a lot of people use. And a lot of metal and rock songs, when people tune the guitars lower, it's still at 440. But this song is half a step lower and at 430. Now check this out. Here's my tuner right here. Here's my tuner and as you can see, I don't know if you can see that on the screen, if it stabilizes somewhere over there, you'll see 430. Now a lot of tuners will actually have settings so you can change your tuner from 440 to 430. This one does. But if you don't have that setting, that's fine, you can tune your guitar to mine right now and you'll still be able to get that tuning and you'll still be able to play to the song. Now, for simplicity's sake, I'm still gonna to refer to these strings as my E string, A string, D string, G string, but as you know, we're gonna be half a step lower in 430 hertz. So let's start with our fifth string, which is our A string, so you can tune along with me and that way you can play to the song as well when you're done with this lesson. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys my fifth string, which is my A string. All right, let's start with the main riff. So here's what's going on. So we're gonna start off with the 12th fret of our B string, to the 10th, to the 8th, to the 7th, so. And as you just saw, I'm actually sliding into the 12th fret. When I start off, I'm going and then I play the seventh fret on my G string. So. And then I play the ninth fret on my D string. So now what I have. And then I'm gonna slide from the seventh fret to the ninth fret on my G string. So. Slow. Again. And then. So what I'm doing here is when I go. Then I'm gonna play the seventh and ninth fret of my G string again. I'm gonna go. And then I'm going to go to the eighth fret of my B string. So I go. Put it together. And then I'm going to play the 10th fret of my E string. So I go. Put it together. Again. And 
And then I'm going to play the seventh fret of my high E string. And I end here. So I go. To put it together. Slow. Then I'm going to do. And that's how I end that phrase. So what I'm doing there is I'm playing the seventh and eighth fret of my B string and I'm hammering on. And then I slide to the tenth fret of my B string. And then I come back to the eighth fret of my B string. So I did. Put it together. Slow. All right, so after that, we do this whole riff again, but the ending is slightly different. So we start it again, we go. So there's almost a little palm mute when he plays this. He plays it really gently. He goes from the 10th fret to the 8th fret on his B string. You can play it unmuted too. And then he slides from the 7th fret to the 9th fret on his G string. He goes. He goes. So to put it together. First ending. Second time. All right, so then the next part is the rhythm. Okay, so let me break down these chords. It's only three chords and you may have noticed I changed the last chord the second time I played it, but you don't have to if you don't want to, and I'll explain that in a second. So this is a C major chord. And the way I'm playing that, I'm on the third fret of my A string, fifth fret of my D, G, and B string. And I'm going to move this up two frets. So now I'm actually on a D major. So we go from a C major, and then we're gonna to go to an E minor shape. Notice I'm saying shape because this tuning is different, right? So if we talk about the shapes, this is a C major, D major, and here's an E minor. Okay, so for the E minor, we are at the seventh fret of our A string, ninth fret of our D string, ninth fret of our G string, eighth fret of our B string, and seventh fret of our high E. Now, you may have noticed when one of the times when I played it, I played it as, it sounds beautiful when you play it that way. So all I really did, I took my pinky finger off the G string instead of playing the ninth fret. Now it's actually barred down by my index finger on the seventh fret. You obviously, you don't have to play it this way if you don't want to. I just think it sounds prettier when you do. So here's the rhythm. So that's all there really is to the rhythm. Then there's the chorus part. And that's the chorus pretty much. So let's break this down. So we're again, we're playing our E minor shape right here, which once again, is the 7th fret of your A string, the 9th fret of your G and D string, 8th fret of your B string, and the 7th fret of your high E. So you're playing. And then we're going to go right here. 
and this is an A minor shape. So we're playing the fifth fret of our low E, ninth fret of our A, D, and our index finger is barring down the fifth fret of our G, B, and high E strings. So we're doing. And then we're gonna go. So when we, when we play this, we go. So when I go, this right here is a G major shape. This is our third fret of our low E, fifth fret of our A and D, fourth fret of the G string, and third fret of the B and E string. So we went. And then all we're gonna do is we're going to go one fret lower. And that's an F sharp major shape. So we went. So slow. That's how he ends it. So what you may have noticed when I go, first time around I played my low E open, and then he starts over again. He starts the riff again, or the rhythm again. He goes. And to end it, he plays second fret of your A string. And by the way, that's with the bass guitar but you can also add the guitar notes too because it sounds cool. So let's play the chorus again. And then he goes back into. Okay, for the second chorus, he doesn't play the rhythm that I just showed you at all. Instead, the guitar plays this riff, and the bass guitar is doing. So you don't have to play the rhythm that I just showed you on the first chorus and the second chorus. So the last part is the little solo or riff in the end of the song, and it goes like this. and it goes on and on. And this guitar is harmonized, by the way, so there are a few layers on top of it. So, let's break this down. We start off with a bend on the 15th fret of our B string, we go, and then we play our 12th and 13th fret of our B string. So we go, so we go 15 bend, and then the 12th and 13th on our B string, and then we slide to the 15th fret again, so we go. And then we come back to the 13th fret of our B string. So we kind of end this little phrase there, so we go. Slow. So then we go to the 17th fret of our high E string and we do a bend up. Let it come back down. Then you play the 15th fret of your high E. And then you play the 17th fret again and you bend it up again. Bend it up again, let it come back down. And then you play the 17th fret again. So you bend. So what we do is we bend up the 17th fret of our high E string. Come back down, play the 15th fret. Play the 17th again and bend it up again. Make that bend go up, come back down, and once you come back down, now pluck the 17th fret of your high E string again. So we went. Slow. 
So let's backtrack a little bit. Again, slow. And then we go. All right, so then you play the 17th fret on your B string, you bend it up, come back down, and then you're gonna pluck your 15th fret on your B string twice. So, and then you start this riff again. So let's do this slow now. I hope that helped. If you have any questions about this song or if there are any other songs out there that are causing some confusion that you're not able to figure out by watching lessons online or by listening to it or by looking at tabs, let me know. I like making these lessons. I do them when I'm not recording, so sometimes it takes me a little bit longer, but I will always try my best to help and I will catch you guys next time. Take care.